the fuck? What the hell? What the fuck is this guy? Yo, what the hell is going on right now? Yo, what? Aliens? Charlie Raptors and Cody and Paul me a four wins. House out of six, a little bitch still holding. My trunk on the neck. Hey man, y'all see what the f*** going on. We back at it playing Gas Station Simulator, episode number three. If you haven't seen either of the first two episodes, stop what you're doing right now. Go on my channel and go watch those. If you go to my playlist section on my channel, you can scroll down to where it says Gas Station Simulator. And it'll start you from the first episode, and then you can watch the second one. And then once you've watched those two, come back and watch this one. Also, don't forget to subscribe, turn bell notifications on. That way, anytime I upload a video, you guys will get notified. Also, leave a like on this video, and leave a comment down below. Other than that, sit back and enjoy the video. So if you guys remember from last time, we unlocked the workshop so we can work on different vehicles and also if you guys remember we unlocked the next upgrade for the gas station you guys can see the different unlocks that we received so it says new tool pneumatic hammer employee trailer new event the bus stop new shelves additional fuel dispenser additional customer toilet additional parking spots more decorations and structures upgrades and we can scroll along see all the different things we can upgrade eventually so if you guys look underneath where it says gas station three you can see the two next upgrades that we can do we got the warehouse two and then we got the workshop two and then eventually it looks like we're gonna be able to open a car wash as well you guys can see right here on gas station four it says car wash one and car wash two so if we click on warehouse two you guys can see the unlocks for this are inventory capacity plus 150 and fuel capacity plus 150 so we need 250 dollars to unlock that and then the workshop level two it says the unlocks for the oil exchange and that's 750 dollars all right, since the gas station's closed right now, we're gonna walk out front to the sign, flip this on, and we're open for business now. We're gonna go back to the computer. Current task, it says reconstruct the bus stop in front of your station. And underneath that, it says, hint, this action might have direct and immediate consequences. Get ready. Not too sure what that's supposed to mean. Sounds a little unsettling, but um, I guess we'll figure that out eventually. So it looks like the bus stop's $300, currently at 111. So wait for people to come in and then start making some money so we can buy the bus stop and continue on. In the meantime, we're going to paint all the walls on the inside and the outside. Top of the line job there. Just as I wanted. Looks like he's gonna need two new tires. Just so happen to have two tires left, thankfully. You got lucky this time, my boy. One thing I did talk about last video, I wanted to take everything into here. Clean out the upstairs. Looks like our fuel's just arrived. Let's go hook this up really quick. All right, so everything that's up here right now is everything that we cannot move. Everything is stuck. We got rid of everything that was garbage that we could throw away. I painted the end walls, gave it a nice fresh coat of white paint, livened it up a little bit. So something else I forgot to talk about, along with the upgraded expansion that we just did, it also upgraded the bathroom and extended it. You guys can see it added four new stalls. Go ahead and paint these walls in here really quick. I gave the hallway walls some paint. Still got to hit the inside of these. I think we'll do that once we start upgrading that. I figured we'd just paint the walls on the inside, down the hallway. That way, make it not look so much like a cracked den. You know, your typical sketchy ass gas station bathroom. It looks a little more friendly than it did. So, all right, we got the inside of the warehouse painted. Fresh coat of some white paint. I'll brighten it up inside here a little bit. When we're done on the inside of here, we're going to close this so nobody comes and steals our shit. And we are finished painting the damn warehouse. So we paint match the warehouse, same as the gas station and the workshop. Completely finished inside and out, and we also finished the roof as well. Looks a million times better in my opinion. So we've got a little spot right here, let's fix this really quick. Since we have $360, we're gonna go to our upgrades, and we're gonna go to bus stop, finally purchase this. Next task, serve all the bus customers and wait for it to leave. Hint, a client influx is a double-edged sword. Try to maximize as much gain as you can. So I don't know necessarily what that's supposed to mean. I guess this is kind of a wait around and find out type of deal. What the fuck? What the hell? What the fuck is this guy? Yo, what the hell is going on right now? Yo, what? Aliens? All right. I'm not too sure what the fuck is going on right now. Bro, what are you doing, my boy? What the hell? What the fuck is actually going on right now? Yo, they're having a fucking disco party in this bus, my boy. What's up, my boy? 
You the driver? I did not realize the bus was gonna be having a disco party inside of it. Are you guys done dancing and actually gonna buy shit now? Thanks. <laughs> oh man. This game always seems to surprise me one way or another. I don't think you've seen it all. It's always something else. Appreciate it, my guy. Oh shit, gotta go open this really quick. You've probably been waiting for a minute. My bad, my boy. Appreciate you coming through as always, delivery guy. Now we gotta go answer the phone. Getting a call from our uncle. That was the rush hour, nephew. Hope you didn't get trampled beneath all the customers coming in from that bus. Really wasn't that bad. I've heard workers tell me there's little difference between a passenger bus and Armageddon. Now, oh, if you're feeling that. overworked, how about investing in some help? Trust me, it's a completely different experience being the one in charge. Hmm. Give it a shot. See how it feels to be the boss of your own establishment. I'll send you more information in an email in the future. Nice. Next task says use the PC to buy your first trailer. It says hint, the trailer can be purchased in the employee tab under trailer subsection. Let's go check out and see how much this trailer costs. So it says employee camper vans. A camper van is some common space for your employees to live in while working on the station. It provides for very basic needs they might require. It looks like we're looking at $400 for that. Gonna have to work and save up once again. Oh, we finally got this tire ordered. Swap this out really quick for this customer. I feel glad I just pulled up. Get that going for him. How can you work here? Yeah, shut your ass up. Alright, we have enough to finally buy the trailer. Look at that. Got a good old trailer and a picnic table. Yeehaw! Let's go see what we're working with. Oh shit, wrong way. Whoops. Oh yeah. Gonna cook up some burgers on the grill, you feel me? Damn. Buy this whole ass trailer won't even let me go inside. Why is it when I do upgrades on this game, everything looks like shit? Alright, so now it's telling us to hire an employee. It says employee tutorial. Use the yellow button to reset the employee's location back to the camper. Use the red button to fire the employee. Employees can do up to two tasks picked from a list during their shift. Task in the upper field has a higher priority. If there is nothing to do in the higher priority task, employees will proceed to fulfill second engagement. You can quickly manage tasks by unchecking boxes. If box is unchecked, employee will not do this task. If both of them are unchecked, employee is going to rest. You can pay a premium to reset the employee's energy to full. You can pick one of two available shifts day or night. One shift lasts 12 hours. You can assign a different shift to the employee only when they are resting. You can use an auto pay option so salary will be paid automatically as long as you have enough money. Otherwise, you'll have to pay it manually. If you don't pay the salary, employees don't go to work when assigned shift starts. So we got a higher <laughs> tab. It gives us the different options. So we have Andrew and we have Amelie. I don't know how the hell you even say that. So you can see it has their skills listed. Level 1 for fueling, level 1 for cleaning, cash register, repairing, ice cream vending for Andrew. And then Amelie has level 2 for everything. It gives a short little description on the side of each employee. If you guys want to pause and read that, feel free. I'm not going to sit here and read all that right now. It does look like it has a reset button after every so often. Right now it has 15 minutes left. I think we're going to go ahead and hire Amelie. So next it says find your employee and assign them a task. It's a hint. Employees can be found next to their trailers near the warehouse. We got our first employee, Mealy. There's a primary job. We're gonna have you handling the cash register. So the salary's gonna be $10.80 an hour. So you can pay a $200 premium. Search during the day shift and we'll set it to pay you automatically. And then the secondary job is fueling the cars. That'll also be $7.98 an hour. Now that we have that set, she's gonna go ahead and head over to the gas station. So our next task says let your employee work for eight hours. You guys can see the timer on the right hand side. It's going down currently. We got seven hours and about 35 minutes to take or give left. Which is basically converted down into seconds on this game per minute. So there she is doing her thing. Alright, good job. So since she's doing that, we'll come over to the garage. This thing needs three tires. I only have one. Definitely got to order two more. If I even have the money for it, which I'm really not sure. We're going to see in a second. We literally have $1.45 left. Hell yeah. Some more fuel. Just finished the eight hours with our first employee. Hold on, let me go 
finish this job really quick and I should be able to pay her. Okay, we got our employee paid. Successful first day with our first employee. We're gonna close the gas station for the night. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's episode of Gas Station Simulator. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Also leave a comment down below. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn bell notifications on. That way anytime I upload a video, you guys will be notified. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.